it was very sudden. We were told on June 24th, no, oh, sorry, that our dollars were being withheld and that we would be replaced. Nancy Jo Archer is the former CEO of Ogades in Albuquerque. Former because she ran one of the 15 mental health clinics across the state accused of $36 million in overbilling and possible fraud. The state won't show the providers audit findings or tell them exactly what they're accused of. Nothing. We know nothing. We have no idea what the allegations are. The state is now paying more than $15 million to an Arizona company to train and take over the providers. Critics say the transition has thrown New Mexico's fragile mental health care system into crisis, with therapists and staffers quitting and patients not getting the services they had before. We need to weigh in. I mean, this. We need to be able to do something, and we can. State Senator Bill O'Neill is working with fellow Democrats to drum up support for an extraordinary session of the legislature. That's only happened once before in 2002 because of the budget. The goal of the session would be to pass a bill that would restore funding to the nonprofits until they had a chance to answer the findings in the audit. There's urgency here. If we wait until January, it's too late. For a lot of these folks. It would take bipartisan support to pull it off. At least five GOP members of the House and one from the Senate would have to join every Democrat and agree to the emergency session. And even more to override a governor veto of a bill that's passed. O'Neill says that's possible. I know my Republican friends and they're con many are concerned about how this has been handled. A spokesperson for the Human Services Department defends how the administration is handling the situation. Quite frankly, if we would have taken a different course of action, we would have had to ignore the findings and audit. The Legislature's Behavioral Health Committee is meeting tomorrow. I talked to a Republican on the committee who said he's going to wait to get more information before deciding what, if anything, the legislature should do. Back to you. Okay, Tina, we could not reach Governor Martinez for comment today, but in the past, she's defended her administration's actions, saying they were necessary to avoid corruption.